everybody, we're back to another episode of last day on a survival today. We return to boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And today, what I want to go ahead and do is continue checking out this brand new chopper update and all the beauty that it has brought. And specifically today, I want to talk about something that I think many of us should be concerned with, especially if we are rocking the chopper, and that is upgrading your chopper storage. Because that is probably the best, at least in my opinion, thing that this new update does bring before this before this update and even like during this update still if you are using the normal chopper you will be limited to having only four slots however that is this wonderful little thing you can do is actually known as acquiring the off-road bike which we go over a little bit more in depth in a video that should be popping up right about now over in an annotation somewhere on screen feel free to check it out did not mean to hop on that one to hop out and check out the back of this bad boy but long story short what you got to do to acquire access to such a wonderful thing is going to be this area over here the mechanics shop and specifically once you do acquire this chopper the normal chopper you cannot upgrade unfortunately like the basic one that existed before this update even it cannot be upgraded however this one that we are witnessing can indeed be upgraded and that is through our little friend known as jane the mechanic right over here in the mechanics box that she does provide because this mechanics box that you can actually go ahead and acquire through a variety of boxes over here by tossing in items such as these however if you guys want to know the most efficient ones if you guys have gas lying around this one is pretty good this one is pretty hard to turn in on you guys can see that there is point limits to some of which we have already uh filled such as this one which is where you can actually put in spare chopper parts which personally is my favorite and i feel like a lot of people's favorites as well because you can put in like chopper forks i don't know if this is the chopper fork one but one of these is where you can like put in chopper forks extra gas tanks extra chopper wheels which can be pretty plentiful especially through doing bunker runs and whatnot and another thing that you definitely want to do is if you have extra electrical generators and whatnot bring it on bring them over here and turn them in but then what happens is you will go ahead and acquire these mechanic boxes right to here and you guys can see we have acquired a blueprint for the custom bike specifically we have acquired a blueprint for uh the bike that i am riding right now but you might be like star you already have it unlocked i do i do and the reason for that is because after getting 10 of these blueprints which you guys can get again by stockpiling those points into those buckets and boxes and a, a bucket slash box it does fill up and for example you already filled up the three crates or the three pallets that you could actually fill with uh, electrical generators and boxes and whatnot should that happen once the gas station respawns all of those limits should be reset and you can head back over here and make that magic happen but after you get your first 10 blueprints and we're actually gonna make a pit stop over here to uh, this area because the chopper that always has good stuff over there not to mention as you guys can see we got a lot of weaponry uh we're gonna be trying to get the military chopper today as well and that's gonna be done through some bunker alpha shenanigans so definitely make sure you guys are staying tuned for that but back to what i was saying another way that you can upgrade your storage is actually kind of leading into what i was just saying so with the chopper itself hello hello there my friend should i try to should, oh this might be a fun one to try and run over hold on i'm gonna see which chopper event this is if this is the one where the zombie hordes come oh dude we're gonna be running over some of these hordes in our chopper what's the worst that could happen this could go very poorly or very well. I think these guys are going to be friendly, but let's go and see. They don't appear to be... Oh, no, they're shooting. They're shooting me. God freaking dang it. Shotgun raid to you, boyos. I'm sorry to say, but your time has to come. You too, Mr. Survivor. You got some nice armor over there. I, I like it. It fits the color scheme that I got popping off, but... Ooh. I like it quite a lot. So let's go ahead and take some of that for us. Utilize some of your band-aids and steal some of your stuff, including some of those wonderful things right there and a little bit of food. But like I was saying, with these blueprints over here that you can find, you can go ahead and utilize them. And what will happen is they'll actually start filling up the bar at home over at your garage. Once you get to 10, you will actually be able to unlock that off-road bike that we are using right now. But after that, you can actually continue getting such blueprints. And the, those blueprints are the way that it works for every single bicycle. You can continue getting such blueprints over and uh, checking out one of those stations. Like the garage has four different stations. The one over in the left-hand corner, kind of like where my mouse is over there. You can head over over there and that is where you can actually level up your motorcycle because that is what will occur after a certain point and ooh, 
got some nice paints over on this chopper as well but after you do get enough then you will be able to level up your chopper and specifically the off-road bike can be leveled up from the six slots that you guys saw all the way to eight and that is exactly what we are going to be doing in the works on so the main way is going to be leveling up the storage room for the chopper which personally i think is the big thing you guys should be going for and again it's going to be amazing during raids which we are going to be doing our first six slot chopper raid today as well so make sure you guys are staying tuned for that bad boy because that is gonna be a uh, happening and it's gonna be a uh, freaking dope to say the least and we might need to leave some stuff behind here which is not dope i know i know but that's gonna be the main way so you want to get the off hello i like what i'm seeing here ah, all right well mr melee weapon i'm sorry i leave you behind i like to take guns and oh my god we got a lot of guns at our disposal at the moment i'm not complaining I'm just making observations out here, and let's see what we got up in here. Nothing too wild, but what we can do is actually go ahead and free up at least one more inventory slot. We'll go ahead and grab some of these meds, toss that extra one over in that little slot we got, and I'll I'll leave the one behind. I don't think that's the biggest deal in the world. Uh, my pants are about to break. Yeah, I'll I'll take your slightly less broken but still extremely broken pants, my dude. Hope that's cool. I'll grab that and I'll skiddy scat daddle out of there and make our way unless an airdrop pops up because we actually just need to visit one more airdrop to complete our raid quest for today ah no airdrop today uh well maybe we'll see what happens we're gonna make our way back home we do need to modify a lot of these guns that we have before we go on that murder spree over in bunker alpha because bunker alpha is where we're gonna be able to get the military motorcycle another thing that i am working towards in the police motorcycle of course can be gotten from the police station but we are waiting for that respawn timer to completely disappear to go ahead and attempt it not to mention hopefully get some more floppy this with some more grenade launchers because those are definitely must cops when it uh comes to trying to complete all 99 waves because that's gonna take a lot i've done it in the past it's an adventure and a half but it can be and will be done but back to what i was saying this is what i was talking about with the ability to upgrade stuff over here and you guys can see that for every blueprint that you collect this bar over there will actually end up going up and ultimately you will be able to level up your bike and as they level up you can expand it all the way to eight inventory slots which is the ultimate goal so again just to recap the best ways for you guys to increase your inventory is going to be just glancing through all these motorcycles the off-road bike is the only base bike that has more storage and then as you upgrade it as well you will be able to get more i'm not a hundred percent sure if these two are able to be upgraded but this is definitely the easiest one out of all of them to get and personally i think it's the best out of all of them because it does give you like this one is awful with fuel savings which means it burns through fuel quite a little bit this one's a little bit better on fuel savings so maybe if you're mainly going for like an adventurous motorcycle that one might be pretty good it does a little bit more damage too although doing damage definitely i wouldn't say that's the main draw of these things i do think the main things that you should be looking for is the storage capacity and the ability to upgrade that not to mention stuff like tank volumes okay that just means you could fill up more but i think fuel savings and capacity should be the two big boys that you are going after and that is where the off-road bike excels and this is the easiest one to get because you just have to turn in different types of loots over to uh which we call over to Jane the mechanic. So that is how you guys go about getting more storage for your chopper. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta put some stuff away, and we got a murder spree at the bunker to go on in just a sec. And with this final set of mods being applied to our wonderful guns, we have quite the arsenal prepared for the bunker and what it might bring. And while our bunker is already open, I want to go ahead and get y'all the bunker code for today in case you guys are wondering. 78240 at the time of me checking it out. If that's out of date, by the time you try to put it in, make sure to check that comment section down below. The phone up today version brought to you by the fan break fantastic community here at the Snap King. I always forget that the chopper isn't there anymore. We gotta head over here and get it personally for ourselves but dude it's just so nice having this extra storage because especially for raids the reason that it is a must-have for raids is because that means all of a sudden you're gonna be coming home with even more loot than ever before and i think we can all agree more loot is better than less loot and that's a lesson that we are hopefully going to be figuring out uh, very nicely and very close to our own hearts a little bit later today and we're going to be doing it 100 percent and hey ah uh, it's in the complete opposite direction doesn't matter we're still heading on over there but i cannot wait for that gas station to respawn guys because as soon as that happens we'll easily be able to get enough points especially if we turn in generators this time instead of like the poopy engines that we turned in we're easily going to be able to get minimum one upgrade pop 
popping off for our off-road bike and I want to have this bad boy upgraded. We need those eight slots. That is the ultimate goal. That will be the ultimate bicycle. Unless we could upgrade the police station bike to eight somehow. Because the police station bike... I must say, I must admit, although that one's going to be a lot harder to upgrade because you literally need to get inspector cards, which I believe are the purple cards from the police station, making it a really, really hard to level up item. That's definitely going to be like the god tier of police or of the motorcycles. If, big if here, if you can manage to upgrade it to those eight slots, because if you can, like... Uh, that's the thing where the off-road bike personally is my favorite is just its ability to store so much but if the police motorcycle can be upgraded to have those eight slots of storage as well that's a whole different ball game boys at that point the game changes a little bit and the police motorcycle becomes the goat and i'm hoping that kafir did do that otherwise i feel like most people are going to gravitate towards that off-road bike as you guys should because again it is the most reasonable at least in my opinion to get out of all of them and that storage capacity is going to be huge although like i'm saying i think i think that's how i rank it personally feel free to let me know what you guys think in that comment section down below as well while you're down there but uh i think i rank it storage is probably my number one thing i look for in shoppers and then after that i think fuel savings because like right now how we're using our fuel to travel across the map instead of using energy for example if we could save the amount of fuel that we use that is always going to be something that we should strive for so storage is coming first because we don't need to use fuel to drive our motorcycle so even if we're just like running somewhere we can still bring the motorcycle and bring that storage but in the cases where we are out of energy and we do want to you know actually drive it around somewhere it is going to be ideal for us to actually be allowed to uh, save as much fuel as we can when we are doing that but go and let me know what you guys think in that comment section down below and reminder that comments which are one third of the way it's the way twelve dollar at two such place store gift card giveaway and hey not just that i'd love to hear what you guys think in regards of all the choppers which one is your favorite out of the four out of the stats that you are seeing maybe out of the look and how they look whatever it might be i want to hear what y'all gotta say regarding it because there's definitely dude, i don't know man it's just the chopper update there's so much to strive for i know that i'm striving for it i'm doing my my best i want to get all these motorcycles unlocked leveled up to the max so we can pick and choose for a variety of situations because there are definitely some situations where some will excel and others don't so i want to drop that comment for that giveaway not to mention hit that like button make sure you subscribe that lunch you went on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day honor the video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that we will wait up for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well just like we we are today would have been announced a little bit later baby baby so make sure you guys are staying tuned for that and crossing your fingers that you might be the lucky lad or lassie this is week but no worries because like i was saying we are kicking off a brand new one today today's the first day feel free to enter on every single video coming up throughout the week so you guys can enter on every single last day on earth video feel free to hit that notification bell as well because that's a great way to stay up to date with every single video going live on the channel not to mention stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information as we continue staying in the loop about the forthcoming updates and all the beauty that they may or may not be bringing everything that we can expect out of such things and this is what i like to expect okay i was hoping that it might be better than a dog tag but still better than nothing but yeah it's a great way to stay up to date with that information not to mention as soon as the update comes out just like the chop update has recently come out and we're doing anything and everything that we can in this bad boy to unlock all the beauty that it contains that's another reason to have that notification bell it not to mention all the other dope survival games that we are checking out on the channel as well so hope you guys stick around best of luck in the new weekly 25 dollar itunes slash play store gift card giveaway and reminder as i'm saying announcing the winners of this past one in just a little while here so the times are about to be getting super freaking dope but for now we got to go ahead and pump this frenzy giant full of plenty of the lead and the reason that we're doing this is because hard mode items are actually one of the ways you can get the military chopper because the military chopper okay i'm just gonna try to kill you before you kill me oh god God dang it, he managed to get a punch off, but it's okay. We got the Zen Notebook, and I like Zen Notebook. Is that a new shelf? Has that shelf always been there? And they renovated the bunker. I like how I noticed the derpiest of things. That shelf's probably been there the entire time. Let's be completely honest, too. But let's go and try to get all of the best things that we can out of this floor. Because this is quite uh, quite a good floor. They can definitely return some pretty nice stuff for uh, investments such as, uh, well, those floppy disks. Because floppy disks are at least, oh, I got to go and turn that thing over once we go back uh, to the lobby as well. But floppy disks are going to be amazing because that is one of the two ways that we can acquire the military 
motorcycle and its blueprints. The two ways that that bad boy is going to be acquired is through floppy disk. That's where you can find the blueprint. We actually did that just the other day. And through red ticket crates. Now, we've already activated the bunker on hard mode, making red ticket crates a little bit harder to go ahead and acquire compared to... Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, nice. You got that wall. How's that wall feel, bro? A little bit harder to acquire compared to some other stuff. Because uh, we are in hard mode where they're dropping more hard mode items. Oh, I should probably go and pick up that Frenzy Giant. Speak of the devil. But uh, where they're dropping more on the side of hard mode items rather than, you know, red tickets, yellow tickets, all that type of jazz. But that's not a bad thing because floppy disks are very good. And I'm guessing floppy disks will have a better chance or maybe a better chance at having them. Better chance at maybe having multiple drop or something like that. And there's always the chance we do get some red tickets over from these crates as well. The crates are always looking out for us, baby. Thank you, Crate. I like what I see from you. But we have cleared out this early section of the map. Let's make our way towards the latter half of what this floor has to offer. The blind one, of course, already being dead. Hello, Afita Sane, my friend. Yeah, this this dead body's still over there. I left him like a used antique katana or something like that. You know, I'm just trying to be nice. Yeah, I, I did kill him after all. No, I didn't kill him. I didn't kill him. I put him into a uh, deep sleep, into some super good hibernation. And as you guys might notice, like, all of these guys now, they appear to have a little bit bigger range. That's, like, a, been a big topic with this latest update. And it is a little bit of a bummer that all of a sudden these guys can hit from a lot further than before. Is that a glitch? I don't know because they haven't patched it yet or anything. And God dang it, you ain't dropping nothing over there. Yeah, I don't know if that is a glitch or not because they haven't patched it or if that's, like, the way that they want zombies to be from now on i really hope that it isn't because ah man it's just that range is really annoying it's super bad especially because it affects a lot of weapons such as the saw blade mace and katana which normally had far enough reach where you could actually hit a variety of enemies and not have them hit back if you were in the right spot and if you timed it right now it is a lot harder to time that as well so hopefully we'll be seeing a fix to that because i know that's been a super unpopular change and i don't think anyone is a fan of that one so across my fingers that that is something that we will be seeing in the near future but for now, I am thoroughly enjoying the chase before the chopper and trying to acquire such new ones. But yeah, seriously, let me know what you guys think out of all the choppers once you've had a little bit more time. to Like, look at that. Tell me that dude hit me from that far away. That was some range. Get some distance behind that one. A little bit of a nuisance so that you can, you know, have that type of reach. Let's go ahead and do that loop-the-loop -loop over here, though. Get these guys going. Do a little bit of damage. Continue chipping away. And we'll loop-the-loop -loop back on towards the way that we got to go. And that's what I love about a floor like this. It's got a lot of different areas where you could do loop-the-loops like that and come out looking pretty okay. And whoop! Like, look at that, man. He's, like, barely even touching me. And he's got filthy range. Like, nah, 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 nah. I don't like this. I don't like this. What I do like, however, is a little bit of this. A whole ton of death. It's a toxic abomination numero uno. And then we got to go and bring a whole ton of death to the Exploder before he explodes. And we're hopefully going to be getting some decent hard mode items. Although, for now, they're looking meh. And let's go ahead and organize these kind of just right in order like that. Let's go and fix up the organization of that stuff. And we might need to swap into some new booties soon as well. But for now, we also have Mr. Frenzy Giant over here. Hello, Frenzy Giant. How do you do? To go ahead and pump some lead into and then pistol drizzle our way towards hopefully his eminent death and our eminent military notebook because that is by far and away the single best thing that we could hope for. Yeah, dude, that's why I, I should heal up. I know it's not a good idea to use a medkit to heal up in that case, but with Frenzy Giant's new range, just every enemy's new range, man, they're just spooky. I'm not, I ain't trying to take as many chances because. They can hit from a lot further away, and Frenzy Giants are some heavy-hitting mother truckers. Choo-choo! No, that's a mother train. That's not a mother truck. God dang it, I'm getting my freaking animals mixed up all over again. But all right, let's see what we got over here in this chest. And we got no types of tickets, no types of hard mud items. The main culprits that I am searching for at the moment, please leave a message after the beep. And apps, okay, just... Just stop searching. That's fine. Not like I wanted to see what was in the crate or anything. I guess we got a little bit of aluminium, which I am cool with. And as long as our boots continue staying in shape. Pantalones. I've been without pantalones before. But those boots, we got to keep those nice and pristine. Because those are the reason we can run faster than a lot of these guys. And especially with their improved reach, we want to be able to outrun to, to the max. You know, as much as possible. And kill as much as possible. But that's where the pistol it comes into play and hey we're getting some pretty good stuff over there in the form of that level two thing we just got an exploder over here we got to bring some death over too and hopefully avoid getting hit as much as we can 
But we came over here locked and loaded, baby, with a fat arsenal of weaponry to take out what they got because we've been stockpiling weaponry like crazy left and right from raids and from loots. And, well, no better place than the bunker, especially with the goal of a military chop in our sights. No better place than the bunker to go ahead and utilize such things and bless up that he died from that. That is why, if you are trying to kill the Explorer before he explodes, never do that with a rifle. Because if those misses start coming into play from the recoil, you might be a very sad camper when he has like one health left over and manages to destroy you. And let's freaking go with Military Notebook Central out here. All right, hopefully we can find some water up into here shortly as well. We got another Frenzy Giant to kill. But yeah, I don't know, man. I think Floor 3 is definitely my favorite when it comes to farming and trying to acquire as much as we can. And it's going to feel good because after this, after using so much weaponry of the unsilenced variety, we're going to be going a little bit sneakier, a little bit deakier, and trying to, uh, well, break into someone's home and steal their stuff. And, uh, dude, maybe we could steal their chopper. And I don't think we could steal someone's chopper. But that would be absolutely amazing. But onwards we go. After we go and get to this chest over here, right about halfway through this floor. But it should be relatively easy breezy. We might skip the room of death because that one literally has a bajillion enemies. And as much as I love killing bajillions of enemies, bajillion's a big number, boys. Because I don't even know how many zeros a bajillion has. Is a bajillion even real or is that just like the stereotypical number people say when they mean a really big number? Whatever it is, whatever this unsolved mysteries solution might be, all that I know is death to the spitters for trying to harm me and bless up to you guys. Okay, so as we continue going through this floor, the loot's getting a little bit nicer, which is very nice to see. And hey, with a little bit of hydration, I was in need of that. We're getting a little bit on the thirsty side. We might need to urinate rather soon as well. But for now, we are okay, and then I'll eat up some... I'll eat up, like, two of these, get our health back up to full, so we are prepared, because we got some big boys over here that want to go ahead and tussle. What up, Exploder? How do you do? You want to tussle, big boy? That's okay. That's all good. Get on over here. Honestly, I don't care if he gets a couple hits off on us. I'll just go ahead every time he hits us, try to back it up a little bit, and let's go and try to take him out before he moves. I don't know, man. This pistol does not fail me when it comes to killing him before he explodes so I'm, I'm i'm trusting in it i continue trusting in it and hopefully my trust in it continues uh being worthwhile it's been good so far but you never know if this type of stuff oh i do not have pantalones do i no i do not well that's okay you should still be able to survive a hit from the frenzy giant i hope although i'm not trying to find out let's switch over to go ash the gob and start getting a couple hits off on him i should probably switch to sprint as well instead of sneaky deaky see you later alligator because sprint dude we're getting a lot of military notebooks from this but yeah we should probably switch over to sprint because that way if someone starts getting all up in our grill like mr frenzy giant over there we could actually make make a little bit of a break and try to get the hell out of dodge you know Alrighty though, I already looted that one up, we killed this room, we got two more Frenzy Giants to go, I think, how many Frenzy Giants are left still? We might have like three or more on this floor, I really like Frenzy Giants because those are usually what net us the very best of the stuff, and ooh la la, some pretty good stuff. But as long as we keep on getting military notebooks, I'll be a happy camper, I'm a simple lad, you know, military notebook equals happy papa star. What about you guys, what's your favorite loot? Which I, I think the military notebook without saying it probably should be your favorite because you get the most points out of it But maybe you like how the dog tags uh, glitter in 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 the uh, light, you know I don't know I ain't judging. I'm just saying okay. We got to oh my sprint skill hasn't even recharged not ideal Not ideal not ideal. Let's pump you full of some lead there monsieur. Okay, let's try and oh Okay, good 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 I was setting that. I was not gonna run back anymore. I refuse to lose any more ground to you Mr. Frenzy Giant, I do apologize. Let's go ahead and make our way through here and back over to that little area we was going through. I did loot up that locker up there. I'm like 99% sure I did. But my 99% is probably like someone else's 50% because uh, that goldfish memory, boy, you never know. It might kick in in the worst of times. And uh, eh, I'm not really going to get too picky about that You know, minor loot. We're over here for the big guns, for the big stuff. And maybe we will go after the Room of Doom. Like, after all, we do need to kill a lot of enemies, and, well, we still got a pretty nice arsenal of weaponry here. Like I said, I came armed to the freaking teeth, my dude, and the dentist wasn't ready for how armed these teeth were, and, eh, that thing still got a little bit. Let's see what's in the locker. Crossing my fingers, so we might have some hard mode items. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Okay. Okay, I'll leave that at an okay, and, hello, Frenzy Giant, how do you do? It's just me, you, and some AK Tonda. 
And I hope my AK, it should have enough durability to take you down. But you never know with this type of stuff. We definitely want the recoil to subside. We want to bring him down to 151 health. And then we want to be ready to go. Uh, I don't know. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. We lived. We lived. And you didn't live, Mr. Frenzy Giant. I'm sorry to say R.I.P. Ripping pieces to you. Mr. Frenzy, now give me the chest that you were protecting. I, I know this. It must have been the good loot. Yeah? Something good in here? Or were you protecting like, uh, like, uh, I don't know, some candy? No candy. Batteries. Maybe, maybe batteries are candy to Frenzy Giants, you know? They're a whole different breed, man. They're not like us. They ain't people. They're zombies. And I don't think it's been scientifically proven that zombies don't eat batteries, you know? So I'm, I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. Just, just kind of saying. Just kind of saying. <laughs> All right, let's try to use the AK on the rest of these dudes. And then uh, we're probably going to need a pistol drizzle. The rest of these guys, I love a couple of these enemies, though, because they don't even act like hard mode enemies. They act totally normal. That Toxic Spitter isn't normal, but, like, this guy, that, that Toxic Abomination is taking full damage from us. And this Exploder as well takes full damage, and he doesn't even blow up, making him uh, pretty much my favorite of all time. But he still drops the hard mode items, so... Th that's been a thing like ever since hard mode got introduced i can't believe it hasn't been fixed i don't know like is that just meant to be those two dudes just derped out didn't get the memo to switch over to hard mode <laughs> like what's the deal all right now when it comes to taking out this room we want to be at the fullest of health Danzo. okay and we want to uh Maybe, maybe we want the fullest of shoes, too. I'm not trying to fall behind to these guys, but I am trying to spread a little bit of shotgun rain. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Shotgun rain to you. Okay, that's a solid 41 damage. Okay, we might want to activate that sprint ability, shotgun rain. Yeah, sprinting with these guys. Very good deal. Very good deal. Hey, big hit to you. Sent that dude flying. Hey, these criticals are coming in at a critical time. Oh, see what I did there? No, we're taking these guys out really nicely and boop. Ah, no critical on him. Let's go and continue getting some shots off on this Explorer. I will finish off this Spitter. Where are you, Spitter? I just want to... There we go. Kill off the Spitter very quickly. Do a loop-to-loop -loop and pull. And your shoes are looking good. Okay, SpongeBob taught me that really good. Okay. And there's going to be some loot back there at some point, though. We are going to need to, like, double back past this anyways. So that's just kind of, like, a good thing to keep in mind. Uh, shotgun ring to you. I will let you blow up. I'm not, like... When I'm clearing the Room of Doom, a.k.a. that room that we were dealing with, I'm not trying to get picky and start being like, Oh, I need to kill him before he blows up. No, I just I just need to kill him. I am picky when it comes to that. There we go. Come on, Toxic Abomination. Only a couple more over here. We should be good. Just want to time it perfectly. Before that stutter step and finish off a little bit of that M16 rain. And let's see what we got within. And then at some point, we're going to need to like double back back there anyways. And we'll see uh, what... Ooh. What all we got, but we're walking out of here with a pretty nice hard mode haul. And it just sucks that the military motorcycle, man, it's gonna it's gonna take a minute. It's not gonna be like the off-road bike, but at least we do have access to the best bike, I'd say, right now. Dude, I hate that it freaking just stops looting that. Like, you, you can't multitask, can't loot with one hand, eat some beans with the other. Come on, my dude, I believe in you. I know you're a smart cookie. Figure it out. I believe. I believe that you will loot. I believe that you will loot. What's up, boys? How you doing? Speaking of blue, we're going to go ahead and actually kite these guys backwards. You just got to make sure not to moonwalk over into those parasites because that is how very bad things are going to go down. Shack and rain. Hey, see you later. Shack and rain to you. Take you out the normal way. And then we got to... This is an exploder, so we have to be a little bit more careful. This one is a 1v1, though, so we can probably go and try to take them out. This is a normal way. And boop! Yeah, no boom for you, my friend. No boom for you. He could have given me better loot, though, bro. Come on. Come on. I thought we was friends. You know, besides the whole, like, shooting you thing. I thought you liked it. I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. All right. And I am thirsty to see what we did get back through these things over here. I love being a pantalonesless man, man. It's just, it's my natural habitat. It's my natural state. If Steve Irwin was out here, he'd be like, Oi, Quakey, here we go. The wild papa star. The wild star snipe is natural habitat. The bunker in his natural ways without the pantalones. No coverage of his legs that started out kind of like steve Irwin, like and then i don't know what, what i don't know what that accent deviated into all right it's just me being a goofball i like i listen i like goofing off man if you guys haven't gotten that memo i don't know if that memo's ever coming in the mail that thing probably got lost in transit who knows what happened i know what happened and that is well, i don't know what happened to the memo but i know what's about to happen and that's a whole ton of death it's a whole whole ton of dudes known as uh not me so hello exploder how do you do i'll probably just end up cutting this guy hey he hit me through the freaking doorway 
Yeah, that increased reach, though, is so annoying, man. Like, come on, Kefir. That's a little bit savage of you guys to do. And I'm going to go ahead and finish you off. Oh, thank you. I'm just always scared that if I'm finishing him off, like, the, the freaking miss thing is going to start happening. Like, as he has one health. That's why I hate using full auto guns to clear these guys out, man. It's sketchy. It's sketchball. But, you know, it ain't sketchball. Uh, okay, that dude over there is sketchball. We want to be prepared to take him out. We will prepare for that in just... No, that's not what I want to do. I want to kill the frenzy giant first. Okay, well, never mind. I need a quick detour here. The exploder must go down first. Come on, exploder. Make your way over so I can kite you around some of these shelves filled with uh, many mechanical goods. Yo, can't I just, like, sell the mechanic this room in the bunker? Like, you know how many points we'd probably get for that? I don't know. So it just looks like a lot of, like, cardboard boxes and stuff. But you know what I mean. It seems like it might be decent or something like that. And, ah, oh, don't blow up on me. Ooh. Always sketchy to do. That brings us up to 10 of the dog tags. A very nice number to have, if you ask me. And now I can do what I wanted to do in freaking peace. And that's murder an innocent frenzy giant. Except he ain't innocent because he probably would have murdered us if he had the chance. What's up, big boy? How are you doing? Let's go. Don't worry. I'll put you out of your misery. And that's the amazing thing. If you're ever shooting someone that can't reach you in the bunker, you will do full damage to them. Even if it's hard mode, you will do full damage to these guys. As you were seeing, that frenzy giant died quite handily. Ow. I got quite electrocuted. And we got quite some stuff over from the box over here. But not even close to the stuff we're about to get from our very first raid with the chop hopefully it's a good one man we got two c4 at our disposal we got the tools hopefully we are prepared to make a little bit of a splash and boop, take you out we got one frenzy giant left and after that battle we will make our way over to prepare for uh well a little fun known as a raid and hopefully oh wait never mind i found pants put these pants on right there look at i'm i'm beautiful man i'm the panted wonder now not just the pantless wonder all right, let's try and get just the Exploder over to deal with this guy in a 1v1. We also got that item back there that I will be grabbing in just a jiffy. Hey, come on, Exploder. I know it's been a while since I killed you. I don't usually go this far into the third floor because usually I just like going for the big one. But now we have, a, we have a purpose to rush through and get absolutely as much as we can. Because we want that motorcycle, and we want it bad. I want all the motorcycles in the world, and we're going to be collecting them left and right, boys. Make sure you guys are staying tuned before that, and let's go and get this, and then we shall be clearing out the final rooms that the game has to offer. But first, we need to clear out the final frenzy giant that it has to offer as well. This is always a doozy. Hey, big boy, how you doing? In the final room, that's just toxic spitters. That's not going to be too bad. Come on, Frenzy Giant. How you do? How you do? Tell me all about it. How's your day been? Kick back, relax, pop open one of those beers I got in my backpack. I'll give it to you for free. Just don't fight back, please. That makes my life a little bit harder. Please, thank you. Okay, thank you for understanding. Uh, hopefully, if you get some shots off here, I'm very scared, man. You got to cut corners, too, whenever you're cutting these guys. Because that's when they get stuck and they get confused. And they're like, what this happened? He disappeared around the corner. And it's like, psych, I didn't disappear around no corner. I'm just trying to finish you off utilizing some cheeky-deeky tactics. And the tactics have been utilized nicely. We got three red tickets and some more of uh, these things. And hopefully, we can get even more of those during some raids. If we can get some floppy disks during... This update, that would be ideal, man. We haven't had a floppy disk raid in a while. Maybe that changes today. We got two C4 at our disposal. I'm more than red that A to make some of that magic happen. What's up, boys? How you doing, Toxic Spitter? Oh, mama, that's a lot of Toxic Spitters. Oh, they were pretty okay. There we go. And we'll start taking them down nice and slowly. Turn and burn a little bit. Boop. Start taking your dune via M16. When it comes to big hordes like these guys, I don't know. I like using fully auto weapons, too, because there's, like, a lot of people chasing you anyway. So, you need to run away to make sure you're not getting wailed on by six people. So, it gives you... Ow, ow. Speaking of getting wailed on, we're getting wailed on. Ow, ow, ow. To finish him, finish him, finish him, finish him. Woo! Get finished. And none of them dropped anything. You guys? Yep, literally not one of those toxic spitters dropped anything. So, appreciate it, boys. Thanks so much for that. That makes me such a happy freaking camper, man. But... Hey, we got something mediocre in here. Yay. If we had a gas mask, I guess we could go and check this out. But the loot over there was never worth the the trouble. But, uh, all right. I suppose that's dust. We should be walking out of here with, uh, well, right around 10 of each type of item. And given how many, that should bring us at least halfway towards the next floppy disk. So whenever we kill the big one, we get a lot of stuff too. I love killing the big one for that reason, man. It's guaranteed three of each hard mode item, which is a guaranteed good amount of points, not to mention 10 red tickets. Even if you guys aren't doing hard mode runs, 
make sure you're doing big one runs if you even have like close to enough stuff to make it happen reasonably like a single shotgun is usually enough and like maybe a little bit of change to do him in but even like a katana some fast melee weapons like you don't like he's, he's a pretty easy dude to take down if you got the right strats down and some proper weaponry behind you and what you know halfway towards that we go and let's toss this in here and we might have the blueprint unboxing next time not this time, but I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away and prepare for a little thing known as a raid that we got to get to doing. So talk to y'all in a sec. And the time has come, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let's prepare the necessary tools for the acts that we are about to do. Who will be today's lucky base? Well, hopefully it is a very lucky base because I want some good stuff within it. Specifically, I'm looking for red tickets and hard mode items because I like those things. And I wonder if we're going to start finding any bases that have garages in them by chance. But so begins our Wraith and Adventures yet again. And with this, hopefully we can start building back up to four skulls of raiding as well. I know we haven't been raiding a lot in the past couple of days. There's just been so much to focus on with the choppers, guys. I hope that you guys understand. And we did kind of have that horrific accident where uh, well, the game decided to quadruple rate us in in one day and we lost uh, kind of sort of everything Which was definitely not a good feel feels bad man, but so be it But uh, let's go ahead and we want to put I'll go ahead. I'll just repair this uh, This little thing over here and we will toss those two things over there And that should leave us with plenty of hatchets for the deed and out back you guys can see we got plenty of c4 Hopefully we'll be able as well to get some uh, generators and stuff and that's the thing our raiding priorities have changed a little bit because now we're looking for stuff that will allow us to get more stuff out of uh, the gas station because that is where we can get blueprints to level up this bad boy and emery all right emery i'll make my way over there but that's where we can get the blueprints to level up as a wonderful chopper that we are driving and i believe the most blueprints you could get is probably right around 20 per run however that also means that you need to be like entirely like filling out like those ones with like uh, the rubber parts and stuff and like the nuts and bolts but those take a lot to fill out guys at that point i don't know if those are really is worth it i might just continue stockpiling those the thing with a lot of those is that it takes like uh, all the way up to a thousand points potentially and i wonder if the chopper makes noise if this is a base that we can test that on pretty easily and yeah it doesn't look like the most advanced base in the world so i think we ought to be fine we might even be able to get into this base without using a single c4 which would be nifty Hopefully there's good loot though. That's kind of what I've been uh <laughs> That'd kind of be the best part out of this, but oh why don't we go and see if he's got anything over here? Nothing over there, unfortunately. Bwah, bwah. But yeah, like I was saying, that's going to be our best bet. And I think you can get right around 20 blueprints total if you fill out every single thing in that mechanic shop and also turn in only generators. Maybe like a little over 20 as well. But I like turning in the rubber parts and stuff. Those only get you one point of pop. Like, I'd say it's just better to turn in, like, if you have an abundance of steel plates, for example. Those are really good. But also, if you have an abundance of, like, the other kind of, like, tinier stuff, it's also probably worth it to go ahead and turn those in as well. Because, like, you can't go wrong with, like, having more points, you know? Although, like, I would say it's definitely more ideal to turn in, like, extra chopper parts and wow, two chests. That's all that I get. Uh, hopefully it's promising man we got uh we got a box over there that we might be able to get into so since this isn't a raid we're gonna need to do a lot of why don't we take the challenge why don't we do uh try to do this raid a hundred percent well first off does riding our chopper raise our noise oh it doesn't okay interesting interesante okay i wonder if we could like use our chopper to like can zombies run through our chopper like i wonder if we could uh do a little well, something something over here where we maybe like kind of park this bad boy right by the wall oh we've made some noise by the looks of it i don't know how all right and i get off oh i got off on the wrong side god dang it well i can't get through this so the question is will the zombies be able to get through this this might be a nifty little thing we've stumbled across boys and i want to see if it might be possible also here's the thing We've broken wooden walls with our chopper before. Can we use our chopper as a freaking battering ram? Oh, Savenya! Nope. Okay, it didn't work. We made a lot of noise with that, though. Hey, we got some takers. Oh, I thought I'd... Oh, I'd ow, 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 ow. Okay, hold on. I was going to try to run these guys over. I don't know how well that's going to go in the chopper. I we'll, we'll take out this way. We'll try to run over the next one. Or maybe once it's all down to floater bloaters, we'll start mowing them down. How's that sound? I think that that's a fair thing. There we go. Let's take our fast fighter over there. Take him out and then run our way over to the chopper and see what we can't do. But 
man, that gas station bike is by far and away the best. And if anything, that's a good thing that at least by the looks of it, the best or one of the best bikes is not ridiculous to acquire. So that's just a good thing for all of us in general. But I know that we're going to be, I'm going to do everything in my power to upgrade it. Because I do want such a beautiful thing in my possession. And oh, let's not go out of bounds. That'd be bad. Let's go. Oh, let's go, Bunga, dude. Okay, ow, ow, ow. I do want to see if we can't charge into more walls. Though. Like, I wonder if we have enough velocity. If we hit these guys right. Boop, not these guys. Oh, big hit on the boats of you, though. I wonder if we have enough, like, velocity. If we might be able to do something, like, break a wall. Because I've broken my own level 1 walls. And it'd be really cool to, like, use a chopper as a battering ram, you know? And not need to worry about that. Because when we ran into that wall, it did make some noise, you know, that one time. So we're going to see if the chopper can be an even more useful raiding tool than ever before. Because right... Oh, mama. Oh, don't send me out of bounds. I don't want to go out of bounds. That's going to make a lot of noise. I still got two chests open up here, baby. All right, let's go. Let's go. Toro. 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 Big hit to the ones of you. And then... Boop. Oh, there we go. Stunned him a little bit. Good on that. This thing's about to break, though, man. We might need... Like, I don't have my repair kits with me either. I put those away to prepare. Oof. Big hit for the raid. And yeah, hitting the walls, like, it might be damaging the walls slowly but surely. And the thing is, I don't know if I want my chopper to break completely. Although it definitely might break completely here. Ow. Especially with him hitting me like that. Come on, give me a little bit of velocity. Toro, Flota. Toro. All right. Ho, oh, ho, ho, man. Uh, well, I'm going to try to run into a wall one more time because I'm a dingus. But I feel like this might be possible, man. Because it makes noise when we run into walls. So I feel like it might be acting like a owl like a chopper or like a hatchet not a chopper i was thinking chopper because hatchets chop things down you know all right and then let's go and try to get a little bit of boost here big hit big hit big hit this bike needs repairs well boys it appears that this bike is uh not ideal at the moment please leave a message after the beep <laughs> just little just tugging along oh my god that's bad that is bad so i guess our bike shenanigans are done for today uh it appears to be on fire we can at least still access the back, though. That doesn't even look like fire. It looked like freaking stank coming out of it for a second there. But it is at 0% durability. That is for sure. All right, let's go back to more important things here. Let's see what type of loot we can acquire from these chests. Because this is just like... This is just... This is a lane base, man. Literally two chests within here. And at least we got some... Poly like, there's some decent stuff. But, like, come on, man. I was hoping for a little bit better. But as we continue getting some stuff over here, why don't we go, not, why don't we go ahead and announce the winner of this past week's $25 iTunes Slash Play Store a gift card giveaway. Huge congrats to the randomly chosen video from the past week, which is actually the one where, well, we got our very first look at the new motorcycles and the ability to ride in zones. That actually came over at the beginning of the week. Very exciting stuff. I know, I know. And huge congrats to the randomly chosen comment. Savage Butcher saying, I wish they added that red Mustang to drive around so you could modify it to ram zombies of all sizes. That zombie truck, dude. I know that would have been so freaking dope, but you know what is dope that is 100% happening? A little thing. Why isn't things spawned in to run and attack me? What? Do we glitch the game somehow? We're at 45 noise. Nothing's spawning in. This is definitely weird. Something should be spawning in by now. But you've won the $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway for this past week. Best of luck to everyone else in the brand new weekly $25 giveaway. And kick it off today. They can enter it on every single day. But you, my friend, my winner, go in and reply to that pinned comment in that comment section down below. Let me know the very best way to go ahead and get in touch with you so I can privately go and send you that code because I can't just post and reply to the comments because, well, then everyone would see it and someone else would redeem it and then, well, you wouldn't get your code. And that, we can't be having that happen. No, no. No, no. So go ahead and reply to that pin comment. Let me know the best way to get in touch with you. Huge congrats again, homie. And I must admit, if we could use that Mustang from the motel, I'd Kafir, if you're listening, we want it. And honestly, I feel like dude, that's the thing with this update, the ability to drive vehicles around maps. I that's a big stepping stone, and it could really be big for more vehicle-centric stuff coming in the future and really make them last down and expand more. And we like initially thought, you know, so it's definitely going to be interesting to see that happen. But huge congrats to you, my homie. Best of luck, everyone else, in the new weekly $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway kicking off today. And we also got some pretty nifty stuff like that ATV wheel, which we should be able to turn in and acquire some nice, point, nice points for when the mechanic respawns, which should be tomorrow. And when that happens, we'll be able to level up our chopper as well and show off of that beauty. And, uh, well, for the time being, it does appear that we're not really going to have an inventory full of loot to get out of this because this guy doesn't have much. I... I must say, there is a distinct lack of, well, stuff 
I mean, there's stuff, but it's not ow, the type of stuff that I want. Okay, hold on, hold on. I ain't eating my, I'm not eating the food in my inventory. I'm eating some of your food, bro. I'm trying to be a little, I'm trying to save that stack of jerky for later. All right, I'm just trying to save it. You know, I'm a civilized lad like that. But yeah, I believe that is going to bring this raid to a little bit of an end, sadly, because there's just not much to grab out of it, which is always poopy. But uh, hey, we gave it our best shot. We got some decent stuff, and we're back towards, hopefully, that four skulls of raiding train. But with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping up this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Best of luck to you guys and gals. Get a chopper gas tank and join the chopper squadron. And unlocking specifically this off-road bike, a must-have for raids, because look at it, boys. Look at it. More loot than you could ever take than ever before with the expansion to eight. Just a couple of upgrades and more mechanic shop visits away as well. So very dope stuff in the works over there. Best of luck with the chopper gas thing. Best of luck building up your base, going out on the dopest of raids, defeating all the bosses of the game. That's a throw at you. Getting past the multiplayer wall. Get the very best bloopers that you can and build out the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got. Not to mention, best of luck at yourselves, that true friend, a doggo to go ahead and accompany you. And of course, love up your own perks and skills as well and most important of all having yourselves an absolutely fan fantastic time all throughout but that's gonna do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching hub so it's an awesome one i'll talk to the next one see ya